what could be more exciting than driving a 4x4 into a tornado? Have you seen the movie Twister? Okay, it's like that, but then we find like a cabin in the woods type evil satanic ritual in the desert. Uh, I mean, this is a great video. You're going to want to stay tuned. We got a full crew going with us. It's going to be a great time. We're all up and excited and uh, ready to get out there. Uh, can you feel the wind on your face? Well, you probably can't because it's uh, a video, but like imagine it. Just put yourself there. Meditate yourself there. Like Zen Astral Project. Uh, it's starting to rain, and this has like no rain shields. Like we're going to get completely soaked. So, unfortunately, it's time to go back. Oh, well, we still got some good footage out of that. But as the rain passes we have another opportunity to explore the desert, this time on foot. I saw you with your camera getting the wheels in the puddles, though. Hopefully it'll pass quick and we can go out later, maybe. Oh, it's getting dark, you guys. It's gonna be tornadoes. Can you go that way with a two-wheel drive? Oh, yeah, I didn't have the four-wheel drive at all. Oh, really? It's about... So we have like sitting here an occult ritual of some sorts that it looks like, I don't know, it's an alien landing pad maybe? Yeah, it's, it looks a little phallic to me, but... Um... I, yeah, I could see that. So I'd have to uh, like go through my grimoires and see exactly what the symbology is. But I mean, these, these things, as we were talking about last night, like if you see those in a forest, they're probably not a good sign. It's not something you want to like hang out and be around. Disturbance of the natural landscape, but also indicating that. Yeah, it's like the uh, forest spirits, so to speak. I mean, you can get spirited away and uh, mauled by a bear. I guess that's how that would translate. I don't know what this thing is. This is like at, at the center here, we've got, I mean, it's not a fire pit, but something. Okay, what do we got here? This is some sort of, well, look at this, we've got sigils all over. I, I don't know the astrological sign or anything that these are, but I'm sure they're satanic. That's my guess. That, that, that's mostly a joke. I don't think these are satanic, but I'm sure they're Luciferian, yeah. which is a difference. <laughs> Come across the yeah, yeah. That's, that's interesting. This almost looks like it's been tiled. Like this has been here for a while, like at least this part. This yeah. looks new. But this looks like it's been here for a while. I mean, this looks lived in. It's it's crazy how intentional and intricate these things are. Wow, yeah, so I wonder how long it's been here because uh, uh, maybe it was just always so busy these past couple of years at RTR that nobody's ever noticed it or like nobody brought it up, but it's crazy to see out here like these full little shrines. Or what's under all those rocks. You know, that's a, that's a good idea. It's probably a grave. Like they murdered somebody out here and you know, this is their little shrine to, uh... Have you ever seen The Witch? No, I haven't. I, I don't like scary movies. They scare me. <laughs> it's... I, I'm, I'm, I'm right in the middle. I, it's not really the type of adrenaline that I, I seek out. It's like what you were saying, it would be creepier if it just disappeared after you saw it. So maybe this is that. Yeah, this is starting to be the case, because this one was the, the most intricate of them all. This, yeah, look, they, they made directions. These are the occult symbols, the runway to the sacrificial area right over here. Ooh, very spooky. All right, so we've got, what, what's your read on this one? What do you think this one is? The, I mean, some sort of praying quadrants 
some satanic foursquare. This is occult mini golf. <laughs> I wonder if this one is different than the one I found because I think the one I saw is over there. I did this just come up then? I did not find this one before. I don't think so, unless I did, and then I'm just, just not yeah. remembering right. Yeah, that's no good, you guys. All the viewers at home, don't do that. That's a bad one. Maybe there's ley lines out here. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna walk around. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk through it. In fact, maybe it's even, we're picking up bad energy just by. I feel like there are still sticks here that have not been utilized. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see any ash in here, so they weren't burning it in here. They were just storing the sticks in here. Just all the preparations have been Yeah. Spooky. And then here's another little... Okay, there's the four star, which I, I know nothing about symbology, but I'll take it as ominous. Yeah, probably. I think it's probably a safe bet. Yeah, I gotta be careful down these. Yeah, they collected these rocks for a while. That's, I mean, you don't find the, the big ones out everywhere. Oh wow, yeah. It's intricate. Yeah, so this, I'm pretty sure the, like the eggshell can be like an, an occult type of, I've seen it with homunculi where people try and, and do that with eggs, but I think the eggshell is a black magic type of, it, ha it has symbology, so to speak, some type of sacrifice. Comment section, help us out. Yeah, it's like, uh, leave comments if you guys understand what this is and what's going on. And if we should be leaving immediately. Yeah, if we, if we need to run away from camp immediately, because this is like less than 100 yards away from camp. This is my favorite part. This is a this is an interesting one for sure. And then some sigil of sorts. And like even like the the headpiece here like has like the broken obsidian. Oh wow, yeah. The, Underneath the it and yeah. I think the best we could hope for is that this was somebody just role playing. They were larping and they didn't know what they were doing. They just thought they were making something good and interesting and it's not occultish. It's um at the very least it's interesting. Um, I'm lukewarm on good. So fascinating. That's a whole other one right, right by there. They're everywhere. Hmm. This almost, I think it's supposed to be a person, but it almost reminds me of the tree of Sephiroth, where it's got the different type of, uh, like little circles that indicate things. Calling this the, the Blair Witch Desert. The Blair Witch Desert, yes. I, I mean, it kind of looked like a person, like that being the head and the arms, but there's too much. Oh, I wonder what is supposed to be the top, if it's supposed to be like, like from this direction. Oh, wait a minute. I think I can make out some of these sigils. It says map. <laughs> oh, so this, what if we are completing the, like, uh, what would you call it? It's like, you mean this is a map of all of the spots? Yeah, yeah. That could be, yeah. And, and by finding and routing every single one. We've we completed it. We've opened ourselves up to. We've, we've opened the gate. The, the chakras have been unlocked. So then would this icon be where we're at now or maybe this one? Because then there's one right there. And then over there. They didn't do good with the you are here. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> Maybe that's that's this rock. We are right here. Yeah, I've wanted to move it and then I, I'm back on not touching anything. Yeah, you leave it where you see it because it's like you don't want it, it the bad juju. Because it's, yeah, it's like, oh, well, well, if it was, I see white on the other ends. So maybe it meant to be right there. 
but then there's not one on this end so who knows and then this is like a uh, the end piece this one isn't white like the other ones map these out in a specific orientation or figure across this landscape could be that they're not just randomly put placed like like, like it's part yeah like the location first. and then did that yeah hmm. like they had a specific shape they wanted to hit all the ley lines either way to do all of them even if they reverse engineer you know, put them all out there and then created a map to find all the individual rocks that have the, the discolorations that they were looking right. for. Right. Yeah, because they clearly got all the orange ones for the lines and then found all the white ones. Rad. Pentagram of, like, campfires. Right. I, and I think, like, the central fire is, is a trope of these, these mm -hmm. oven gatherings and... This is recent. The most evidence we have of recent activity. I just cooked dinner and I figured, you know, this is kind of interesting. Like, what do you eat on the road? And like, what's a good staple when you're trying to be fit and healthy and you don't want to make too many like big messes. Okay, so I pre-cook this meal. What is this? This is ramen noodles ground beef peas corn you can get carrots you can get a mix of like any type of vegetables you want all types of stuff it's fantastic i throw a lot of uh red pepper flakes and different type of spices in it and then here's the really the really secret part is you put the when you're cooking the ground beef you throw in the sauce packet of the ramen noodles uh beef flavor most likely and it just adds a little bit of extra msg deliciousness to your meal seasons it really well this is actually, I, so I pre-cooked this all at once uh, in a big pan, and then I'll have it for the, basically the entire week, which was great. It's like maybe four or five packets of ramen, uh, two cups of, of corn, two cups of peas, two cups of uh, beef. It, it just works out really great. And, oh, and dice up an onion in it too, and that's, and that's really excellent. And then you have it for the entire week, and it's an excellent meal. This is actually a special version. A co-worker of my mom, hunted a bunch of elk and they had a bunch of extra stuff so this is also this is half ground beef and half elk meat which is really good it's like super lean which is good because i'm you know i'm trying to get my abs back but it's it's also very flavorful it almost tastes like a natural sausage type of flavor it has like a very it almost has like an italian spice to it like the actual meat and that's just raw so it's it's pretty interesting Uh oh, I'm sitting here just like filming B-roll, like of the rain falling, it's great. And then I just realized like, let's see if we can get that. I have like a drip here, like the seal on the window is leaking. Oh, what a bummer. What a, what a travesty. That is, uh, man. All right, well that's something else to fix. Well, there were no parents, right? Oh, Mary Ann. Ginger wasn't even there. Those That's kind of warm. Ginger wasn't even there. Watch your hair, Angel. Ginger wasn't even there. Oh, fire, fire. Donnie's losing his eyebrows. Yeah, that's what I said when Pat was going on that thing. It's a sewer. Maybe that's why oh, I like okay, Rachel. Right. She's cornbread, country, not well, country, southern girl. You know, the Marianne oh, yeah. yeah. country. I got, got the Marianne vibe. So we got to scratch <laughs> them out. She does, Thank actually. You. Yeah.